Hey y'all, it is officially Christmas season, which means we have a job to do. We need to celebrate Jesus' birthday, but in the perfect way I know how, which is making a cake. So follow along and grab some few simple ingredients, even just a box cake, and let's make the perfect birthday cake for Jesus. The best birthday cake in the history of ever. Hi guys, guess what? Christmas is here. It's my favorite season full of laughter and cheer. My name is Hayes. I have a story to share about family traditions and the power of prayer. These are my parents. They run our kit and caboodle. There's me, my brother Holt and Teddy, our golden doodle. Mom and dad taught me to pray many years ago. No doubt they were right, most parents are, you know. No matter the question, big or small, bring it to God, he can help you with it all. Now that you've met us, we're ready to start the story of celebration God put in my heart. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. This journey begins when I was a boy. It was sometime near the beginning of December. I was listening to my teacher like a good class member. I learned of holiday traditions like Boxing Day and Kwanzaa and the difference between Christmas and Hanukkah. Each celebration had become its own tradition. This got me thinking and was the start of my mission. We had our own Christmas fun each year with traditions we enjoyed and still hold dear. We loved caroling with Coco on a fun carriage ride, decorating our tree, and of course, the ice slide. When kids think about Christmas, Santa is the big thing, but the day is truly about the birth of a king. I wanted to celebrate a family tradition with a reason, something that celebrated Jesus and his season. But what could it be? What could we do? My mom suggested asking God for a clue. The very next morning, I jumped out of bed. I ran to my parents' room full steam ahead. I was super excited. I knew they'd be glad. So I ran in and yelled, wake up, mom and dad. God answered my prayer. You won't believe this. We're having a birthday party for Jesus. Of course, God would give me this idea full of fun. After all, he's a dad who wants to celebrate his son. We decided the party would be Christmas Eve night. Mom started working on the perfect invite. Making his birthday cake would highlight the evening. A recipe tied to scripture, we then began weaving. The day had arrived. All my best friends were there. Dad gathered us together and we began with a prayer. Before baking began, we had fun crafts to do. We even made birthday crowns with construction paper and glue. It was finally time for the birthday cake prep. Combining cake mix and water was our very first step. The water symbolized our belief in Jesus Christ. By believing in him, we've been given eternal life. We stirred the batter. It turned red like a heart, showing us the love Jesus gave from the start. Mom read Romans 5, 8. God showed us his love by sending his son down from above. Next, we stirred in chocolate chips to represent the sin that comes from our lips. Like the chocolate, our hearts can be dark and dim, but our sins melt away when we believe in him. The batter was ready to pour in the pan. Even the shape was part of the plan. Dad said, our cake will be round with no beginning or end, like God's never ending forgiveness on which we can depend. We moved to the living room while the cake was baking. We created a station for cider and cocoa making. Dad read Luke 2, the story of the momentous night that Jesus was born and the world was made right. Mom presented the cake with a beautiful stand. All the kids chanted, frosting, in a loud demand. The frosting was white, but we weren't sure why. 
Then mom read Psalms 51, seven, as we began to apply. The scripture explains all we need to know. Jesus' love purifies and leaves our heart white as snow. The cake was now frosted and looked really great. Then dad said, hold on kids, we still need to decorate. There were items on the table meant to top his cake, but what goes first and why we had a decision to make. Mom said Luke 2.10 tells of an angel spreading joy and announcing the birth of a special little boy. A messenger sent from heaven to spread the good news. The angel belonged in the middle. It was easy to choose. Among the remaining toppings shined a gold star. Could it be the one that led the wise men from afar? Indeed, the star was an important piece of the story. It was a guiding light for others to witness God's glory. Mom gave us evergreen stems to place at the base. By accepting Christ as Lord, we forever grow in grace. Every birthday cake needed candles. I'm sure you agree. Jesus is king, so what kind should they be? We thought purple candles would display royalty best, with 12 on the cake, one for each month we are blessed. Lighting the candles was our final step. Matthew 5.16 explains this in depth. Let your light shine for all to see, so everyone who knows your faith in me. It was time to sing the most important song, Happy Birthday to Jesus, even Teddy howled along. Everyone had chills and felt the true Christmas spirit. We sang so loud we knew Jesus could hear it. Then with one deep breath, the candles were out. His birth saved us, we have no doubt. It's been many years since that prayer for a plant, a favorite family tradition from the night it began. Each year as we prepare his special birthday cake, we remember the sacrifice he chose to make. I'm sure your family will create something clever as you make the best birthday cake in the history of ever. Our journey is complete and I hope that you see this story was never really about me. Happy birthday, Jesus. There you have it, the best birthday cake in the history of ever, all to celebrate Christmas and Jesus' birthday. But if you're interested in purchasing this book and starting your own family tradition, Make sure to check this book out in the link below and then make sure to like and subscribe while you're down there so we can change the world one cake at a time. Bye.